Hi, it's Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back with a podcast review of a movie entitled The Witch Subversion. And there's a lot more to it. This is going to be a quick one because I don't want to get into any spoilers. The movie in the United States is called The Witch Subversion. Its original title was The Witch Part 1, The Subversion. There's a little bit of difference there. It finally got released on home video this week. It'll probably be on streaming services. You can get it on Blu-ray and DVD. And they're filming the sequel now. This movie originally came out in 2018, debuted at a lot of festivals, won a bunch of awards for star Kim Da Mi. It was her first big movie. She won all these Best New Actress awards and deserves it. She carries the movie, does an incredible job. There's a big plot twist that comes along. I mean, she carries this movie on her shoulders and does a great job for somebody that you've never seen before. Also stars Choi Woo Shik, who is in Parasite and Train to Busan. He's becoming quite the big star. And it was directed by Park Noon Young, who has written a few big movies like I Saw the Devil, and has directed um, New World, which was a Korean movie like this one is, but it was a big success, critical and commercial, also made The Showdown. So he's somebody to watch up and coming. Now, obviously, with the title as it was in South Korea, they plan to have a sequel, and fortunately for us, they are making a sequel. This is not the movie that you think it is from the trailers. I mean, all that action stuff that's in there, and they even on the front of it call it uh, the action sensation of the year. Don't know if I'd go quite that far because it's more of a slow burn story. I was really shocked that Warner Brothers distributed this movie. The Warner Brothers logo comes up before the movie starts. It was quite shocking on a South Korea. I, it's just, you know, I collect a lot of movies and that's like the first time I've ever really seen that. And so anyway... It's a real film. It's a film about a girl who 10 years ago went through something traumatic, lost memories, couldn't remember her name, couldn't remember how old she was. She is adopted by this older couple who lost their children and raised as their own. And they kind of skim over the raising part, but you find out that she could perform magic tricks. That's why she has the nickname Witch. That's There's nothing really supernatural. The movie's more science fiction mystery thriller. Um she could perform magic, and she goes on their version of The Voice, a show like that, American Idol, where she sings very well, and she's the top competitor from her area, and she's going to the national finals, and this all of a sudden makes her a spotlight for individuals who it turns out have been looking for her. So the movie doesn't, they introduce some of these characters earlier on, some of the situations early on, but then it's mostly about the girl. And like I said, the actress, first big starring role, an amazing job, really great job. By the second half of the movie, we're starting to figure out what's going on, and we know that they want her for some reason, and things start to happen. And like I said, this is going to be a short review, because to talk too much about it, I'll get into spoilers, but it's similar to like a superhero origin story, kind of. It's not really a superhero movie. It's definitely not a horror movie, although some of the violence is quite gory, Um In the last 30 minutes, our supercharged, high-intensity, pretty gory violence. But overall, I was really impressed with the movie because it took the time to build the characters. There is a lot stuffed into this movie, knowing that there was another movie coming. You can tell, even though this is a self-contained movie, you can tell at the end that part one. You know, there's more to come. And I can't wait to see what they do next. I'm really thrilled, actually. This was a big surprise. It was one I picked up because it was cheap, and I figured I I would like it because it was the reviews I read kind of called it more chop sake than horror mystery, whatever. And it's really not that. It's really a good story. Got tinges of science fiction going on and a big action finale, the final third of the movie is pretty much nothing but action, and leads to what's going to be a continuing story. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Get a chance, check it out. The Witch Subversion, now available on Blu-ray. I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm Rockfile. My website is therockfile.com. Please subscribe to the podcasts. Check out the Patreon page if you'd like to support. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.